But he d he didn't though. Jacket's coming off. It's All getting right. real oh. in this bracket. All right. Fumu playing for real Z. Fumu taking off his jacket and Blaze again putting on a furry sweater. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know who was asking about that. Someone in Discord. Wait. That's a long story. Wait, Someone what? was asking, where can I get Blaziken's sweater? <laughs> Alright. Shut up, Jam. <laughs> um, so, starting off, sorry, Tags, Krogak. Pretty so, nice Krogak. Yeah, um, that's smart if we just take that shield break. At the beginning of a round, it doesn't matter. You don't lose any synergy, really. Mm hmm. Um, I think he's been doing a lot of these Boulder Tornadoes recently, and it's not helping his opponent. Yeah, he's been getting a lot of those today. Ugh. Gunk combo's yeah. very stylish. Who was going to deny all the gunk options with an armor move? That was, um, Flare Blitz. Thank you. Uh, Nani X2. Uh, um, really? he always, um, like, he always says, like, to do, um, Nani X in situations, because usually, um, regular Flare Blitz is not really used very often because it's minus. All right. Yeah, it's punishable, um, but it's also quicker. Um, deals less to you and all that stuff. But anyway, Great gravy. Sorry, tag Boulder. taking that first round. Okay. Yeah, so Fumu is running Emolga, which is a bit, which is a bit odd because um, Emolga is it's kind of weird how well it interacts with Growing Stick does because um, it loses to Tornado and Boulder, which are usually the situation where you really want to use it, but like Growing is kind of safe from it. So you think Fennekin would have been better? I know he was stuck with these supports just his, his first round. Yeah, so. yeah. But mm, I don't know about Fennekin because Blaziken wants to be up close. Right. And usually Blaziken doesn't really fear a, press, pre, a close up pressure situation from Krogon. Right. Uh, the only thing I use I can see from Fennekin is using it when he approaches in the air. It's the only really use I can see from it. Anyway, Fumu is in a very, very nice situation right now. Sorry, Tech holding on to his burst still. Probably wants to hold on to it. So. He doesn't waste it. Like <laughs> and now Blaziken, okay, well he was out of burst. Whatever cheer Fumu runs always jacks his burst up really far, so yeah, I think he's he, a good shape. I want to say he runs special, because uh -huh. he had Emolga at the game. Oh. I won't blame I, I vouch by special, I think it's the best cheer. These boulders though. Ugh. These boulder combos are even worse. He doesn't even need, doesn't even need his burst for rage. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have a... Uh, I feel like he able to get out of that situation. I know. And he does. All the way into the other wall. Yep. Emolga. Not versus Emolga. That would have been silly. Now mm -hmm. it's another one. So, okay, sorry, Jack tried to um, thief underneath that, but I think he just got hit a little bit before because I don't think the um, low profile comes out right away like mm -hmm. Blue Violet does. All right, so burst got... versus burst, let's go. Um, or so not. Who's gonna wait till right. field phase? Oh, okay. That's a good point. He's gonna wait till Krogan's closer. He doesn't get half the benefit from it. Yeah, and also, um, I think he was also waiting for Star Attack to go in the air because when you activate your burst in the air and it hits like the wave hits them, then you waste a lot of their meter while they tumble oh, back. Oh right, right. So I... this lands. Is this gonna kill? I, really I don't, don't think, think so. I don't think so. It's gonna hurt though, and speed debuff's really gonna hurt. Because uh, Fumu's already used up his um, burst, and actually, since Star Attack interrupted it, he didn't get the speed buff on it. Either. Yeah, it's weird that uh, there was a speed buff, maybe it disappeared, but it seemed like he was still at normal speed. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, Mega Blazer naturally has a speed buff to him. Like, he's naturally faster than Mega Blazer, and so probably even now. Yeah. Anyway, Fumu was able to take that first game. Loser's final, so best of five, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so, so I think yeah. probably gonna go to uh, Shandor. I don't think he's gonna be bringing up a Mewtwo today. Mm -hmm. Or Shadow Mewtwo. He's got <laughs> too many characters. I, I didn't keep this anymore. I don't need to, okay. Yeah. He, maybe he picks based on player now, because he knows he... He knows he beat me with Chandelier with like yeah. the and I imagine Fumo has a hard time with... I don't know what he has a hard time with, honestly. He's been doing really good. Um, I know this matchup had fun yeah. for um, Blaziken, just because um, Mewtwo's normals and his anti-air ability with his 8Y and such really just hurt yeah. a lot. However, because um, he does have a low counter, you can Blaziken over it, so that's something. Alright, just get some spacing Blaziken, out. Blaziken, of course, can't duck Psycho Cut, so. Mm -hmm. But he can break dance apparently. Like yep. that. If he can 2x underneath it. Um, which is good for him because I know Garchomp can't 2x underneath it. We don't have enough low profile. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Yo, boys getting more dick. Oh god, no. See, then it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> you right. <laughs> oh, impossible. Dude, right, so. playing a nice distance game mm -hmm. here. He also he has, has his... a life lead, so he doesn't need to take any real risks. Yeah, he just. I mean, there's the road Tom. I wonder if uh, Sartat's gonna, if he can get his burst out, but the way he's using his hyper beam, I don't think he is. But um, if he gets a burst out, he might be trying to get that road Tom set up. But like, is almost unwinnable for Rose characters. But the Rotom in general is a very nasty pick against Boyzkin because oh, yeah. he's so often considered in the air and Rotom just beats it out. But Fumu does have a way around it. Uh, instant jump JX will give you an effective shield afterwards. I think he used that. Jump a combo. Drain punch for some synergy gain. Ah oh, man, whipped high jump kick. That always sucks that it does so much recoil. Sorry, Tag, looking at him perfect right now. If we can keep this up. Uh, yep, and there's the uh, anti air I can talk about. Um, yep. The second, two, 8x's. Um, what's that, 8y? 8y. Um, sorry, Tag can just um, 8y and beat it out. Uh, so you can do the um, reaction to block or something? Uh, if you block their uh, Blaziken's 8y, um, you two can really just 8y anything afterwards. Because it puts them in the air. And oh, yeah, good point. You can't act out of it. Ooh, we're not taking these wake up grabs. Nope. Put on the pressure now, but, but we'll take that fire punch. Yeah, but and um, meaty hyper beam from Chip and oh, yeah, that grab off. range is impressive. Mm -hmm. And the exhaust range too. Not helping from WoW. Alright, we're just playing very safe in the shield. Mm -hmm. Manages to psych sorry attack and pushing some buttons. It's not impossible if for Fuma to get his burst still. Plays it right. Um, sorry, Tag is not gonna get And can you confirm off this? Nah, no death yet. He's still got 30 seconds left, he's gotta play careful. Whips Heat Wave, and that will cost him a lot. Oh, that sucks. He was just out of range. I was wondering if the last hit Heat Wave would have connected because it's a little bit bigger than the rest of them, but just even a little bit. Yes, I know. No, I'm complaining that my buttons. Yep. I'm pressing, I'm not pressing buttons. Hopefully, you guys can't hear this banter going on. I'm really hoping. Alright, so no kick change. Holding up the bracket! Up the, bracket. the bracket is holding up the bracket. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm putting nothing to play. I'm being dumb. Also, can we just admire how the winner of this plays against Picano in Grand Finals? <laughs> can we just admire that for a yeah, second? I'm excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, um, okay, well, it was interesting that Fumu actually used the non EX um, high jump kick, and Star Attack expecting it to be but a more minus from the EX. Uh, Fumu was able to get Okay, so it. what's the dive bomb actually called? The one that ha crowd pierces if he pushes the right one? That's high jump kick. That's high jump kick, okay. Yep, and EX is the, um, is the one. It, so non EX will not bounce off the ground. Like, it, 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 it'll just like slide along. But okay. EX, you'll like dive bomb straight into the ground, like fall on the ground. Right. Logan, not doing him many favors here, unfortunate. Yeah. Um. And, yep, Niles would be up the psycho cut. Uh, that was a risky psycho cut in general from Star Attack doing it that close up. I guess he could have retreated, but still a bit minus. Um, Star Attack just taking command of this field phase. At least he tried until Grumu Fumu grabbed him. Yeah, that was a very risky uh, grab, but gets him in the situation he wants to, and that's a nice whip punish. And like, a nice movement in general, also intercepting that JX. I think it's a catch. Uh, not quite. Oh, nice guy. Yeah, into the sky upper cut, and that works fine. Yep, and here comes a raw burst for a lot chip and the speed buff. You can get away. Fumu just needs one more hit and mm -hmm. to also not lose. Okay, he still needs a one combo at this yeah. point. He, he can afford that shield break, though. Yeah. Oh, the sorry tag got a substantial amount of HP back from this mm -hmm. thing, uh, thing. And that's punchable. Let's see how Fumu was off of it. Not a whole lot, but. And there's a high jump kick right there. Is that Blaziken's only way to punish 6x from that distance? I'm not sure. Um, I wonder if there's another no. combo starter. No, okay. And he, 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 could, he could also grab, he could 2y. Well, grab, I wonder if it... I mean, as we've uh, then I gotta wonder if it reaches. Uh -huh. Probably. Uh, Blaziken's would. He has pretty good yeah, size grab yeah. range. I think that what he did was better than grab. I mean, it didn't more, and he won the round, so it's yeah. all good. He probably could have gotten more off doing a 2y and the blaze kicks. There we go. Nice stuff right there. 
I think still holding onto Rotom. Um, yeah, he that, hasn't had a great opportunity. Okay, now yeah, it's okay. Oh, what? Okay. What? Okay. That's, that's, Shenanigans. What? You like you what? And oh, that it's... somehow didn't connect. All kinds of crazy stuff is going on. So right what happened there is a similar thing to Garchomp's JX, where Mewtwo is such a tall character. If you hit with a JX on like Mewtwo's head, you actually can't confirm off of it because it takes you longer to get to the ground. Oh. So okay. yeah, it's a similar thing happens with Garchomp's. But anyway, Fumu taking game three right there. Okay, so here we go. No changes either. That's so weird how that Rotom just didn't get there in time. <laughs> Dodge a bullet. I mean, yeah, a lot of the supports will do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's still surprising when it happens. Yeah. Like, Sorry Neck had, definitely had the right idea. It's just. It was just close enough. Alright, Sorry Neck is throwing out drain punches. Can we catch in that while Ming with the counter? Yeah. That's, that's one of the situations where you like having a high counter. If you had a low counter, like me, you wouldn't be able to do that because YouTube is in the air. Oh. It sucks. <laughs> so I, I always say a low counter is always worse than a high counter. Oh, well, that was risky. As far as I know, the uptake from Blaze can super run safe, but it worked Very hard that time. Safe, yeah. yeah. Part of the mix up game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang, it <laughs> runs up and fire punches, and it worked out. Cornered! And you have speed buff as well. Sorry, guys, gonna be able to weep right, in and that, out. That speed buff is just insane on Mewtwo. Oh, uh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Why did I actually not that much? Hmm. I always think Sarge is gonna be. Did he miss the more. just frames? I don't know. He missed one of them, I think. Okay. Still, it's like. Good. What is That's gonna. Oh, I think he did, I think he did six X. Alright, Fumu not caring about his lack of HP because he's got one HP. Yeah. At this point. In fact, I think his recoverable health is actually entirely gone. Yeah, I think so too. And Colin was off of it. Can he kill? Not Secret yet. attack buff strat. Oh, oh no. man! Sorry, Dad. See, he's seeing the victory. Yep. Who so does though have his grab at the red? Uh, not grab burst at the ready. It's yeah, okay. he, ha he I, has I his up, grab I at the ready. Counter and combo all the time. It doesn't <laughs> make any sense. High jump kick versus dive bomb from you two, and high jump kick takes it. Chicken arms did not reach far enough. Uh. And that's what I was talking about earlier. That's the, that was a non EX. And um, that's crime punishable? Uh, yeah. Or it's whatever. My it's like crime punishable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's it's faster overall and does a lot less damage to yourself. So. Mm. There's situational benefits to it. Does he have to be using them more than he does normally? Uh, the non EX one? Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely using it more. He, um, he's been vouching by it. Oh, I think he's got this. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Sorry, I tried pressing the button. But yeah, he's been vouching about it to me. Like, he's keeps saying, like, if they counter, you're more likely to get with the non EX and the EX, so it takes a lot longer. And the time between your red armor and the attack is shorter, so, like, there's less time to intercept it between. So. He's got Swift to Fear. He can't jump and run. Okay, this is Here the is. most this disgusting yep. setup in the game. I yeah, think. You yep, may, at this is. point, you may as well just take Rotom and take the scaling, I think. I think, I think that's Death Cross Rage Mewtwo. Um. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. So, the thing is, if you take the Rotom, uh, you, that's still big damage and probably lead to double debuffs from Fire Punch. Well, at the same time. You live. Because I'm trying to think of how that setup works. Do you so, just rush in and burst, or do you wait for them to jump in? Optimally, you do it on a wake up. Okay. So, like, you, you use Rotom, and then when they're waking up, you burst. Um. In that situation, Kumu could have had enough time to try and get rid of the Rotom otherwise. But if you um, delay the burst and they jump preemptively, then the Rotom will stun them and you still get the burst. I mean, you get the burst, but his scaling's just so vicious. I feel like you should. Cons if you can't. If you have no other choice, you may as well take the Rotom because you yeah. have a slight chance of living. Yeah, Moving that's on true. to our next game. So, in a pretty nice early lead right now. Sorry, that game. A little bit hasty with his. Um, homing. But Fumu is already at his oh! burst. And got nice. Ninja's right over that 8Y and makes his own combo out of it. Yeah, doesn't quite punish yeah. it because you never know if he's going to do a second hit or not. Right. That's what sucks about it. Oh, nice though, with some fire. Um, blaze kicks. Okay, we can get used to that token. It's leaving around Fumu's options. Yeah, use that burst. Okay. Might as well in the situation. He needs to make sure he can get this kill. And Blazekin's a character who can get his burst in the mid He's tired of taking these grabs, and he will send back his own grab. 
take this round. That was risky. He could have confirmed it to the kill, but he got the he got the mix up anyway, so mm -hmm. it worked out. So now, double what the dark combo. Okay, yeah, it's very hard to win because the air attack after the. Um, Plays in JY is very quick afterwards, so it's, it's always good, cool to see that. I'm learning a lot more recently. Oh, alrighty. Ooh. Now Mewtwo's in the corner. Zardag's not. has been doing a pretty good job getting out of the corner, I think. Yeah, um, Mewtwo definitely has options for it, like Air Dash and Fire Punch and such. And. The really bad situation for Sorry Attack. He has a long mountain to climb. And there's a guy right there. Wait, wait, wait. That's not it. That's, That's not, not it. it. Sorry, Tyler got it for a second, but. Oh no. A hyper beam? Okay. <laughs> Gotta respect the hyper beam. There's another one. And. Alright, that's that, that's a good burst. He'll get, uh, he'll get a speed bus so we can run away now. Alright, I don't think he's got 33 seconds to run away. Oh, and what's gonna happen? Alright, so. And there's a guy. That's, I don't think it's gonna be it, though. Yep, now they're both on the ropes. One HP yep. versus seven. Okay. May as well be one. He's one hit away. Oh, yep, and there was the confu confusion. Is that the grab? Yeah, I believe so. Barrier to confusion, yep. Alright, now they're both on know. match point. Alright. Yeah, this is because Insar Attack does have his burst, and he is running Rotom now, so he's going to be looking out for that setup. I don't think there is a way to you know, get rid of Rotom but before um, it charges. Like, I don't know. I think Chandelier is some weird yeah. property, and the one of the X moves that gets rid of super meter or something. Oh yeah, I think it's um, J A. I think that's one. I'm not sure. Um. All right, so try to go ahead and pop it first. I jump in. Oh, this is this is the this is this is the setup. Get out of there. Um. Oh, he he, okay, he took but the now, room, right, but so. this will scale. We think. It yeah. Does. It, so it, he's at least alive. Mm -hmm. That's better than taking the burst. Yep. Oh, and the uh, brave bird not quite working out. We're still in this, however, but there we go. The five whites, it will snag it. Unfortunately, getting knocked out. Sorry, Tag, gonna be going to grand finals against Pacano. Alrighty. So, we'll hop back in when it's time for that match.